So species, I have been waiting for this video for quite a while now and I know I'm uploading it a little bit later because typically when this stuff comes out it's probably like 11 p.m. like my time and I just yeah didn't really feel like recording a video actually it was probably a little bit later I don't even know but either way guys um, the flash suit the season 6 suit as we all knew so ever since season 5 Grant Gustin said the chin strap would probably be coming back in his Instagram comments if I remember correctly when that whole outrage happened when it leaked online uh, and finally you know obviously they've been filming season six for a while uh, we've actually got our first look thanks to TV line and a little bit of extra information so I'm gonna go over a bunch of flash updates in this video it's been a little while since I posted one I was just waiting to, for, for something of more substance to talk about other than Caitlin Snow drinking out of a coffee cup in Star Labs I mean you know I don't know how analytical I can really get there <laughs> but yeah this is the video for that guys so go ahead and like this video if you do enjoy it and of course I really encourage you to uh, leave your thoughts on the suit and everything I break down in this video down in the comments below because because season six isn't actually that far away now. We are getting closer and closer to October. So uh, let's start with the suit before I read out what TV Lion had to say about season six uh, in general. Um, and yeah, so I was very excited and, you know, I still like am excited about this suit, but I'm not blown away with it as much as what I thought I would be, if, if that makes sense. Now let's take this from the top, I guess. I did a video maybe a month or two ago where I was like, what the Flash season six needs to do, or uh, maybe my wants for, I don't even, I can't even remember the video title, but either way I said um, very basic things. I really liked season four suit, but then, you know, in retrospect, when you see um, the season five suit, um, I prefer the material. I really do. I prefer the skin type material, but it was too red all over. Like it was blatantly missing like the gold lining throughout the suit where you could really see it where they've uh, put the seam lines together and stuff where it's just like, why didn't you add that to it in the first place? But then it also didn't have the chin strap. That's just a self-explanatory reason why we all wanted that back. Uh, but there are other elements that I've said that I've always wanted, but I think they've actually discussed this before. So any of you who are thinking about yellow boots or gold boots, I still want that. And I think they should incorporate that because they still haven't. Um, maybe we could get that in the last season, but I'm sure behind the scenes, you know, with the concept artists, like uh, I believe Andy Poon and other people like that who have actually probably contemplated um, with, the, with the wardrobe department and stuff like that about adding these features in, it's, they've never done it because I think it's always been a bit too much. But I guess if you don't want to go for a full yellow boot, just add, you know what he's got like on his shins just above it, the lightning bolt, add a bit more of that into it or something, just so we can have um, obviously gold at the top, gold throughout the body, gold on the belt and the arms, and then gold on the boots. But another thing of the ones that I actually got, but this isn't surprising because we learned this all uh, in the you know interviews they did weeks and weeks ago with like Ruby Rose, uh, Stephen and Mel, we saw that Barry, or should I say Grant Gustin, had this suit on just minus the cow. So we knew for the longest time now we were getting these gold lines, which just add so much. It's something so simple, but adds yet so much to the suit. Uh, very happy about those. I can't lie about that. And now finally the cow. Um, I'm happy we got it back. Um, I really am, but there is something off about it yet at the same time I'm not gonna be like oh like that just looks terrible because it doesn't but there is something off about it But it could look better in an episode like in motion for example, but you obviously let's talk about the ears I love the ears. I mean I as always I wish they would go a bit more brighter gold with uh, their colors. I mean, I feel like they did that a bit more of the belt. Maybe it's just the lighting here. Um, but I've always felt like the ears, no matter what version he's had, whether it's the really close ones, the lightning strike, it, they've always been a bit more bronzy, um, you know, of, of a color rather than uh, speeds to gold or yellow. But either way, this is, it adds, it's just so great to see. It adds such a speedster element to the suit. As you guys know, if you are a big Flash fan, you'll know that these uh, speedster ears, if you will, are uh, very, uh, a big nod to the comic books. Um, so I'm very happy about that. It looks great. But, you know, the bit coming down from the cow here, I, maybe I'm putting two pictures on screen right now, but you can see how different, um, and maybe this is what looks off. There's not much bagginess there. I'm actually quite happy with that because, you know, on the neck, you can see a little bit of that, but sometimes when he turned his head in the suit last time, especially on that weird material. So at the moment, he has this, like, 
soft clothy fabricy spandexy material right but last season uh you know on the on the cow helmet version on the neck parts he had these two kind of shiny cling filmy kind of um materials coming down from the neck now they've made it all one material which which is cool it seems like it's all one big um you know onesie if you know what i mean so maybe it zips at the back and he gets into it and he puts the cowl on that way it does look like for some reason you know the bit that comes down his neck there it, just into the symbol that used to be i believe that material I was just speaking of the sparkly material of last season not sparkly but you know I mean shiny that's gone but it looks like what I can imagine it has velcro underneath and he can just like bring that up I don't know it just doesn't look like that's proper tucked in it feels like if he took a symbol off there he could just lift it up I don't know I'm getting picky now but overall I'm happy with it I think that's enough of a breakdown for you guys with that suit. Those are my honest thoughts on it. Um, other than that, I am I guess I'm just very happy. And it's very time relevant that Barry's getting his chin strap back. Because, um, we, well, we knew this was happening anyway. But obviously, in a 2024 news article, when Barry Allen goes missing in crisis, we see him like in that pose with the chin strap there. I can't actually remember. Did he have the ears? Did he have like different speeds? I don't think he did. But either way, that doesn't really matter too much. You shouldn't look too much into that because obviously since that article was written, man, the amount of times the multiverse has uh, changed in its chrono chronology. Um, you know, for example, Green Arrow wasn't meant to die, it being the first thing. There's so many differences compared to uh, that first crisis event. That has now been scaled back to 2019. But that is enough about the suit. Uh, TV Line also with this little uh, exclusive they gave us with the suit uh, said this about the season. So picking up moments after Nora was erased from the timeline, Barry Iris uh, will uh, come to realize the infamous crisis is arriving five years sooner than expected. And it's like stepping on a landmine, says showrunner Eric Wallace. All of a sudden, the future is today. And that turns everything upside down. You'll see each member of Team Flash react in their own unique and sometimes tragic way. As if that were not enough, the pre-crossover run of episodes, dubbed Graphic Novel Number 1. Now, if you guys remember, by the way, like uh, this show's uh, the season, if you will, is split into kind of two different uh, graphic novels, as they're saying. It's like picking up, yeah, two graphic novels. There's going to be one villain, Blood the Work, pre-crisis. Uh, and then the second half, there's going to be a whole other villain who we actually don't know of yet. But back to the teasers. Dubbed graphic novel number one will burn fast and hot with the introduction of Dr. Ramsey Russo, a renowned hernatologist who shares a really great relationship with Caitlin, but is fated to become the villain known as Bloodwork. Related to the new threats, Iris the journalist will get pulled into a very deep mystery while also working to make the citizen grow up real fast due to the accelerated flash vanishes dateline speaking of the crisis and we shall be uh tom kavanagh's newest wells is integral to not just the first half of the season but his storyline leads directly into the crossover says wallace bonus spoiler the first third of the season will make time for one or two additional nemesis including a guest cameo that will be fun for the fans now i have no idea who that guest cameo is i know like i mean i maybe you do know or maybe you don't know but this is old news now from filming of episode one godspeed was seen so maybe maybe this is just them officially saying without officially saying at the same time who it is but i wouldn't be surprised if they're on about somebody else entirely but i wouldn't be surprised if they pull something cool out of the bag beyond godspeed other than that in flash news recently like for some reason there's been major headlines everywhere how candace Patton is keeping her naturally curly hair for iris this season and that affects the story somehow Okay, and other than that, you've probably been seeing, um, you know, some screenshots from episode one during uh, just this video in general. Uh, there's honestly not much to say about it. Obviously, we have Barry smiling. We have Barry and Iris looking at the 2024, now 2019 news article, kind of like, oh, shit. Uh, other than that, we have Caitlin drinking a coffee. Uh, uh, you know, what what blend of coffee is that? I do not know. This, this requires a whole breakdown within itself. Uh, we have Cisco uh, just kind of looking post Cisco without his uh, metahuman powers and other than that we have the team looking at something nothing else to say there and lastly I don't know why this has been popping up in articles again recently I've actually seen it in multiple different places but it's about Grant Gustin talking about uh, crisis in the first episode I, I remember seeing this weeks ago so yeah again I'm not really understanding why because as I said I saw him speak about this before but just in case you don't know uh, he just goes over how the monitor will be coming at the end of episode one and he says that Barry Allen uh, has to die I, I still find this interesting i think i have spoke about it before a few weeks ago um but just in the fact that we know that oliver has made a sacrifice in a deal with the monitor but the fact that the monitor is still coming to barry at the end of the episode 
Uh, for those of you thinking that Oliver's already made deal, makes the future change already. So, for example, how the article might say now Green Arrow goes missing in crisis. I don't think so, just because of what you know we now know about what Grant Gustin has said. If Barry Allen still has to die, then it's still going to say 2019 Flash goes missing in crisis. But ultimately, we know uh, that probably won't happen uh, because of whatever Green Arrow does. But either way, it's just interesting because these characters are still going into uh, crisis and we all know that the Flash isn't ultimately going to die. However, the characters are still looking at that article being like, oh, I'm going to go missing in this crisis, upcoming crisis. And even the monitor at the end of this episode just literally said to me that um, I have to die in this event. Crap. But other than that species, that is absolutely everything I have to say about The Flash up until now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it. As always, uh, subscribe for more Flash updates uh, for reviews in October. Uh, links to everything will be in the description down below. I encourage you to join my Discord server. And don't forget, to all the Titans or DC Universe fans, that Titan Season 2 premieres tomorrow, Friday. Uh, my review will be up. Cannot wait to talk about it um it, it it looks it, it yeah it, it's good it looks pretty awesome so yeah my titan season 2 episode 1 review should be up on my youtube channel as soon as dc universe uh, published the episode on the streaming platform other than that guys check out some of my other videos next to me in this new weird outro that i'm trying to do uh, but thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you speedsters in the next video goodbye